everybody welcome back to episode six of my minecraft let's play how is it going man i'm doing really really good what you just saw was a time lapse of our barn because every farm needs a barn right and we have one too so remember last week we did our melon farm which just turned out all fine and dandy right looks great then you come down a little bit farther and you get to the barn and I really like the way this thing came together. It kind of has a fantasy vibe to it, which I really like, but it also is very utilitarian. If you come over here, you can see it's got this cool little arch here and these giant doors. And then inside, we have stalls on each side, which uh, you can also see from the outside look really cool. Each uh, kind of have these cascading arches on the front and back and then along the side we have these arches for each of these areas for our pigs and our sheep and our llamas mushroom cow and our regular cows got some horses over there as you can see Ooh, one of them bucking and inside we've got some things to kind of clutter it up a little bit we've got some hay bales around we got some workbenches yeah, I think this uh, turned out really great. One thing, you know, if you've ever hung out in barns much, you know, the uh, up top, there's also extra, usually extra storage and stuff in the loft. And so we have that up here too. You know, and usually in barns, you have some planks that are running across between the joists. Good vibes all the way around. I really am happy with how it all came together. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Yep. All right, so if you remember last week, we built a melon farm, an automatic melon farm, which I am also really happy with how it all ended up looking. I just think it looks really, really cool. The collection area for the melon farm is right down here. There's some chests just inside here. And so what I made, I made the front of this kind of like, I 
They kind of made this a little outdoor lounge area, which I think turned out real nice. Inside, over here, this is the collection area. You can see we're collecting melons like crazy. So that's great. What I figure is we can collect the melons from right here. We'll have a row of farmers here and we can just collect, turn, trade and just start stockpiling emeralds for books that we need, for resources that we need. And I think that'll uh, work out really great. Yeah, that's some more progress. It built this uh, retaining wall along the back. It kind of runs around the side here. So yeah, that is our new barn. I hope you like. Yeah, so even though I reduced this down to about a 15 second time lapse, this was actually my third try. Look how many drown I've killed. 250 drown for this one trident. But I got it now. Yeah, that was what I wanted. Loyalty three. Let's see here. Loyalty three. Now let's beef it up a little bit with some unbreaking and some mending. All right, look at that. Oh, and we got channeling. Okay, all we need left is, uh, all we have left is the impaling, I guess. Is it impaling or piercing? I think it's impaling. Yeah, we gotta get an impaling book and this thing will be one bad mofo. Whoa. That was weird. Charge creeper heads. Mm. That's so satisfying. During this storm, I found a zombie villager and led him into our brand new barn. Come on, buddy. Come on. This away. This away. This away. Come on. All right. Let's get you cured up. Ooh. All right. So this guy, he can be our first villager in our new melon shop down below the melon farm. So that's pretty great. It's all right, buddy. Hang in there. You'll be all right. Yeah, see? Told ya. All right, let's get you into the melon farm. I'm going to put you over here. Made a beautiful little cave for you. Come on in. All right, I'll be back. Take care of you later. Okay, so this next project is kind of interesting for me anyways, and it stretches all the way back to the first episode of this Let's Play. Now, when I was doing the time lapse at the very beginning, where I was uh, taking out all the trees on this half of the bowl, down, uh, down here in this area, I got rid of all the trees. There was a lava lake down there, and you can see it over there in the corner. But check this out, when I was doing the time lapse removing those trees, I saw this. To me, and probably to you I'm guessing, it looks exactly like a heart. And that was completely naturally generated. I raised these blocks up around the edges a little bit um, because of what I'm about to do next, which I will explain shortly. Um, but yeah, this is a heart. And so I was thinking, uh, well, how do I explain this? So down in this corner, this is the lowest part of the bowl down here in this little corner. And since water tends to flow towards the lowest point in any area, I thought this would be the perfect place to put in a lake. And in the middle of the lake, all around here, we go up maybe, you know, two, three blocks here maybe up to about here. I don't know, I'll have to put in some and then see how it looks. But in the middle, we would have that lava heart. So then it would be called like Lava Heart Lake. I don't know, Heart Lake, 
uh, Love Lake. I don't know. Something. I need name suggestions. If you got any, leave them in the comments. But not only will we do a lake here, I, I wanted to have some streams uh, feeding into the lake. And so I was thinking down here at the very end of the cove, maybe like up here, maybe it starts, you know, back here somewhere. Uh, we would have it come down. We could dig out a little bit of this, maybe remove some of these trees and basically have a stream coming down right here that feeds into the lake. I think it would look really pretty, like picturesque. Then as I was wandering around specking this out, I was looking up here and there's a little spot for like a pond here. And so I was thinking way up there, we could have a stream that feeds down into this and down this channel and have a little waterfall here that falls into the lake. Then over here, you can see there's this big gash in the ground here. And I was thinking if we flattened out the riverbed, flattened out the bottom here, made it into like a creek bed, maybe like right, maybe like right here. And then we come out this side, it could be another little creek that feeds into the lake. Then over on this side, I had an idea of uh, maybe leveling this out a little bit and putting a lumber mill up here. And the lumber mill would have a creek that flows by it with a water wheel. And then we have a nice series of creeks and rivers that feed into this beautiful, hopefully beautiful lake. So the only thing left to do now is to start filling this in with water and seeing what we have to work with. You ready? Okay, here we go. So, a couple things. It has been four IRL days since I did that time lapse with the lake. Yeah. So, two things happened. The first thing that happened was I got way more melons than I know what to do with. It's overflowing right now. Yeah. I even have stuff I've already moved out of the way to make more room and it's still overflowing. The second thing that happened was, you know, I'd heard countless times from very creative builders like, I don't know, like FWIP or B-dubs or SCAR, Pearlescent Moon and others that you just start building your thing and the creative ideas will usually reveal themselves as you're going along. And this was the first time I felt that in a really big way. So... I'm going to show you a couple of clips from Replay Mod, and then I'm going to walk around and show you some of the ideas I have for the coming episodes, because I'm really, really excited about it. So yeah, I have been doing a lot of detailing and there's still a lot to do. I still need to detail out the lava heart in the middle of the lake and there's a lot of paths. I, like I mostly just sketched out a lot of the paths that are around here. I need to remove all these trees, all these jungle trees need to go on the left side there of the lake and on the right side of the lake there is a bunch of oak and birch and those all those trees are going to be replaced with spruce this is going to be a giant taiga cove so lots of spruce trees lots of podzol lots of coarse dirt i definitely need to give a special shout out to this youtuber i believe their name is deezer young 
But yeah, this kind of stuff right here, they put together a really great episode on detailing crops and farmland, and I'm going to use more of their techniques in the next couple episodes because they are great. I'll put a link in the description. You should totally check it out. Along with the farmland, I really need to take care of the edges of these streams. Right now, it's just grass, basically. But I want to use a lot of gravel and mossy cobble and maybe even some of the mud when this gets upgraded to 119. We'll see how it goes. Over on the right side here, I want to put a real picturesque, cozy fishing cabin uh, with a nice little dock that runs out into the lake. Now up here behind the crops is this gentle rolling hill that makes its way up to the mountain. My first thought was to put crops on it. But a hill that steep from this angle, it just doesn't look good. You can hide some of the blocks with leaves and stuff, but it, it just doesn't work for me. But what's cool is there's multiple flat spots on different levels, and I was thinking what would look cool is some quaint little workers' houses up there. And that's where the workers would live and stay and eat, and then every morning they would come down a network of trails down the hillside to come down to the farm and do their work. I think that'd be a fun little project to do. So if you can't tell by how much I've been rambling on and on, I'm really excited with the way everything has been coming together because not only has this cove turned out wonderful, but it ties in really well with the rest of this base here. And it's starting to look like a proper base. My goal is by episode 10 to have all of the farm side of the bowl done and we can begin focusing on the town and some of the other infrastructure on the other side of the bowl. I've already got a lot of the town buildings built in creative and I can't wait to bring them over here into the bowl on this side. And that's about it for this episode. Man, I thank you so much for coming by and letting me show you this cool stuff I've been building. As you can tell, I'm super excited about it. If you liked what you saw, maybe leave a like. It doesn't cost you anything and it helps me out a bunch. Really appreciate it. But until next time, I hope you have a great day and a great week and you keep on smiling and I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.